Did Lewis Hamilton f*** Toto Wolff over? Toto Wolff received a phone call from his star driver Lewis Hamilton one day before the news came out that the seven-time world champion was leaving Mercedes for Ferrari. Do you think that after all they've been through together, highs and lows, this could have been done differently? Toto Wolff was convinced that Lewis Hamilton would stay for the length that the contract was signed for and the escape clause was just a formality. Well, it turned out that Lewis Hamilton was shopping around and found a new home in Maranello with Fred Vasseur and Charles Leclerc. As we all know, hindsight is 2020. Could we have seen this coming? And what has happened that made Lewis Hamilton walk away? I'm Wimbo. Here's three seconds to leave a like. Trouble in Paradise. The troubles pretty much started on the 12th of December in 2021. Lewis Hamilton lost the title to Max Verstappen and the decisions race director Michael Masi made played a big factor. Wolf was clearly very upset with the events that took place, protests were issued and later on denied by the FIA. Mercedes and Wolf had managed to win 8 constructive titles, but that didn't cheer anyone up very much in the Mercedes camp. Or so you would think. A video was leaked of Toto Wolf partying hard with a group of people who let him crowd surf all over them. That was a completely different Toto than what we saw after the race or even a few days later when he gave a speech on the camera with a black turtleneck sweater and a very serious face talking about integrity. Lewis must have seen that video too. One can only guess what his thoughts were when he saw his team principal celebrating after what happened in that race. The new era. After the 2021 season, a new era of racing started. The ground effect era. Mercedes was very optimistic and a title could help in coping with AD21. Unfortunately for everyone at Mercedes, the concept was flawed and Hamilton didn't win a race. He did mention several times that he wanted away with the no side pod concept that their car ran with. He came out publicly that he wasn't listened to by the team run by Toto Wolff. Now I suppose that when a very successful development team tells you which direction to go in, a team boss won't drop that in an instant because your number one driver tells you so. However, in the end, they did, but it cost Lewis two seasons, and he's not the youngest anymore. Contract negotiations. As always, the negotiations for a new deal were lengthy and complicated. Nothing new there, so nobody was surprised when a new two-year deal was announced. Hamilton wasn't the best paid driver on the grid anymore. That honor also went to Max Verstappen, just like the last three titles, but things seemed okay. The Stevenage born driver spoke with conviction about how he was at the factory on a regular basis, pushing the hardworking men and women forward, telling them to never give up. So it came as a huge shock that Lewis Hamilton was leaving Mercedes for Ferrari. The transfer. On the 1st of February 2024, after an Italian paper and Will Buxton had hinted about it, the news was confirmed. Fred Vasseur, who had worked with a very young Hamilton in F3, had convinced him to pack up and leave after the 2024 season, leaving Saints without a seat for now. A funny detail is that Vasseur and Wolf are friends outside of the F1 paddock too. I wonder if they still are. A multi-year deal was signed, so we will see Hamilton in the new cars in 2026 too. Twitter and other social media exploded and everyone had opinions about it. Sky Sports F1 was broadcasting about it 24-7 and they were all giddy with joy. Nobody gave much thought to Toto Wolff and how he must have felt when he found out. Toto Wolff Whenever a race didn't pan out as it was supposed to, Wolff came over the radio to Hamilton some comforting words, like when he called the car a shitbox. Lois, oh, we all know that this is a bit of a shitbox to drive at the moment. Um, and sorry for the... In the media, Wolf spoke 95% about Hamilton and 5% about the other guy. Wolf tried very hard to keep Hamilton in his ranks, except that one time when he told Hamilton to wind his neck in and just drive the car. Lewis, the car is bad, we know. Please drive it. We know Hamilton holds grudges and he has had issues with almost all of his teammates. He's extremely competitive and doesn't shy away from Sigma mind games. So I think Lewis Hamilton making the deal with Mercedes, but letting his father shop around for another seat was part of a plan to do Toto Wolff over a bit. As to say, you partied after I lost, you didn't change the car when I asked for it, and you told me off in front of the whole world. You can keep your slow W15. As you can see, there's something to say for both of them. It's not as black and white as it seems. I always thought they were as bad as each other, to be honest. That's why I totally didn't see that breakup coming. They made a great couple.
As a Red Bull fan, I can look at this situation in a distance and enjoy the drama. In conclusion, we can say that Total Wolf wasn't as committed to Hamilton as he always made out to be, and Hamilton got even Steven with him on the 1st of February in 2024. Subscribe. Take care now. Doei doei. A special thanks to my channel members. Your help is much appreciated. If you want to support this channel too, click the link down below.